What's up, everybody? Um, it is Friday, November the 12th, actually, and um, just had my 27th birthday on the 9th. Um, so, got that going on, I guess. But, unfortunately, um, there has been some information that has been brought to my attention um, yesterday. Um, and it's <clears throat> kind of tragic. Um, very un unexpected. Um, so, last night I was talking back and forth to one of my other friends um, from high school. And we were discussing our high school reunion that's coming up. And we believe that it's like 2024 or something like that. And we were just talking back and forth about that, about random stuff. And then he says that it's hard to believe, you know, like all this time that has gone by, you know, it's been so many years since high school. It's hard to, to believe time flies and stuff. And um, he's like, it sucks that we uh, we've already lost a couple people. And I'm like, I'm like, like, what do you mean, bro? Who who did we lose? He's like, oh, dude. He's like, he's like Corey Davy died. I'm like, I'm like what? Like we're thinking like the same Corey Davy, you know? He's like, yeah, dude. He's like that Corey Davy. I'm like, so my my brain is like trying to process what he has just told me, right? And it seems like unreal as of right now or at that time and I'm like in complete disbelief right I'm like I'm like what I was like how how what what happened right but he didn't really know um he didn't know like details or anything like that he had just heard it you know what I mean so he didn't have a whole lot of information about it I later so after I hear this dude cuz I'm like, this has um, happened, like, this was back in September. I'm like, so, I'm thinking, who all knows about this? Because surely, I mean, if, if he knows, surely other people know about this, right? So, I go asking around to some other people, and slowly but surely, they, they, uh, they, uh, they start Everyone starts confirming that, yeah, in fact, this is true, that Corey has passed away. And I'm just like, man, nobody told me? That's, that's insane, right? Um, but then I found out more information. So, my other friend, right? So, I didn't know this, but, um... I guess Corey was battling a addiction, you know, with a substance. Don't know exactly which one or anything like that. Um, I still don't know a whole lot of details about it. But he had this drug addiction, unfortunately. You know, and it's such a dark, lonely, depressing road addiction is, you know. Um, and he had been in and out of rehab and stuff like that. So I hear... That he left rehab and he was kind of just out and about. And he had gotten a hold of my other friend at the time and had asked him to, you know, come pick him up and stuff that he needed a ride and things like that. And my other friend hadn't seen him for like a long time either. You know, it's been a while. We all kind of are not really as close as we all used to be or anything like that. So he goes and picks him up, doesn't think anything of it, you know, goes and he, he picks him up, he takes him over to his house, right, you know, and they're just hanging out, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing strange like that, you know, he stays the night, um, my other friend wakes up, uh, notices that Corey isn't awake yet, doesn't see him like around the house or anything like that. So he goes to go check on him, uh, and he sees him laying there. He thinks he's still asleep or something, right? 
So he's kind of like, like shaking on him, like, "Hey, Corey, like, you know, wake up, bro. Are you still asleep?" But Corey, Corey's not moving, dude. Um, not not responding. He's just laying there. Then Sean or my friend um, starts freaking out, right? He's like, "Oh crap!" So he's like, now he's really like trying to get him to wake up, like, you know, like, "Come on, man." Like, wake up, right? But nothing. So, he freaks out, obviously. He calls 911. Paramedics show up at the house. But they said that he had already been dead um, for, like, a while before they got there. He probably, from what it looks like, he probably uh, died in his sleep, is what it's looking like. So, by the time that the paramedics had gotten there he there's nothing they could have done he'd already been dead for for so many hours you know what i mean there was no reviving him at that point so my other friend's like freaking out obviously because now this has just happened at his house so you can imagine what he's going through right uh insane um but yeah, I'm j I just found all of this out yesterday. And all this stuff happened back in September. Another thing I did not know, though, is that this is not actually the... Um, this is not the first time that Corey actually died clinically. So he had OD'd before this. And this is what got him into the rehab facility in the first place, right? So he OD'd. And... They had hit him with the Narcan and brought him back. Um, and then that's when I think his family had him sent into the uh, facility or something. Um, so I was like, damn, dude. I mean, he could have died back then. You know, like, he just happened to die at that moment. You know, at my friend's house. It, um you know, I guess it was it was gonna happen eventually. From what it looks like, it just happened to happen there, at that time, at that place. Um, but I had no idea. I didn't even know that he had a problem. But like I said, I wasn't really in close contact with anybody from school anymore, so I I couldn't have known. And apparently. A, hardly anybody else knew either you know from what it looks like but uh it's just tragic um like i said he was only 25 years old and passed away and i wasn't able to get to the the viewing and i don't think there was a funeral because from what i've heard um i guess he was cremated instead of buried so there's no headstone or grave to visit or anything like that um they just got him like cremated, like in a, an urn at his parents' house or something like that. So I don't even have a. Um, there's no cemetery that I can go to to pay my respects or anything like that. So I, I don't even know what I'm like. What am I supposed to do? There's nothing for me to visit. <clears throat> so me and all my other friends, like, now we don't have closure, right? Because we we can't lay flowers. We can't. Pay our respects, cause there's no way for us to do that, right? Cause he was cremated. Um, just a tragic situation, you know. Just can't believe it happened. It's insane, right? To think about that. Hey, so we were super close. One of my really good friends from back in the day. Man, that's crazy. It's crazy to think about, but, you know, it, it, it happened, um, I can't change it, nobody can, there's nothing I can do about it, I just gotta accept it, right, just something to live with, I guess, um, yeah.